Welcome to the Ascend Reporting and Data Flow Information Session. This session will include information on how we plan to provide Oracle financial data and highlight the key reporting capabilities we will deliver as part of the Ascend 2.0 program. I personally think it's helpful to start off by walking through the current financial data landscape to ensure alignment on how financial data is currently accessed and how we plan to move forward and leverage modern and robust technologies with Ascend 2.0. In our current architecture for financial data, the UCLA Data Warehouse stores data sets in multiple databases to support campus-wide needs. At a high level, we source the transactional source systems through a nightly batch process to feed the data into QDB. For those who aren't familiar with QDB, it is our first generation data warehouse built originally in the late 90s to address the data needs from campus, querying financial information, and to not burden these inquiries against the mainframe. QDB is a SQL Server database that allows our users direct access to the tables for self-service reporting. Users took the data and built their own reporting solutions, merged the data with other sources, and also fed the data to their downstream applications. About 10 years in, the realization set in that QDB would not be a sustainable design for data storage and reporting, and the Campus Data Warehouse was introduced. At that time, with stakeholder engagement, multiple interviews, and information sessions, it was determined adopting the data warehouse design with a business intelligence tool to drive report development was our best path forward. And after an RFP process, the group selected Cognos as our reporting tool. Our payroll and personnel system was first to go live in the campus data warehouse and financials followed soon after. Adoption to Cognos and utilizing the data warehouse design didn't occur as we had hoped and envisioned. Among many factors, users were very reliant on QDB and didn't see the need to migrate their efforts and kept moving forward as is. When UC Path came along many years later, lessons learned from the past had us approach the UC Path implementation differently. Knowing how transformative a change UC Path would be to how HR and payroll would be conducted, we leveraged the opportunity to introduce bigger changes to data and access reporting. The design of the new UC Path system was quite complex compared to the existing PPS system. We realized the steep learning curve for QDB users would not be well received and a shift needed to occur. At that time, we split our user base between our tier two users who support downstream systems from our report developers and consumers. Therefore, the split you see on our slide shows where we started making the distinction and allowing only a subset of users direct access to the UC path tables in ODS. We moved the majority of our users to Cognos, where there is a suite of centralized UC Path reports available and also self-service capabilities to develop their own reports. And as we move to the next slide to discuss Ascend, we plan to again leverage this transformative project to introduce a more robust and modern technology solution for data analytics and access. We will plan to source the in-scope data sets as part of Ascend to make available to our stakeholders. Certainly, Oracle Financial Data and Jagger are in scope, and based on what we knew from Ascend 1.0, we believe there will be others. Parallel project activities and the formation of the Campus Reporting Workgroup will provide clarity on the sources and allow us to prioritize our deliverables. A key benefit with Ascend is our ability to leverage Oracle reporting tools directly querying the system for enhanced reporting. You'll see that capability noted at the top of the slide where there is a direct connection between the source and data consumption. Right away, our reporting capabilities are enhanced with this feature. In addition, to address the data and reporting needs of our community, we're very excited to leverage the UCLA Data Lakehouse to store this data in a centralized repository hosted on AWS. The UCLA Data Lakehouse provides opportunities to combine data to derive analytics and enable data-informed decision-making. 
It makes the university data shareable and consumable through agile and optimal data ingestion and management processes. It establishes data governance to define data access policies, standardizes data definitions, defines data stewardship, and provides clear understanding of the appropriate use of data. Hosting on the cloud increases our operational efficiencies by leveraging cloud-native architecture to reduce infrastructure and management costs. Additionally, we are expanding data exploration opportunities and democratizing data to develop programs for business intelligence and data science. In terms of ways in which we provide data for consumption, the requirements determine the data sets that are in scope, and as you can see, we are building our inventory of university data assets in the lake house. To provide a representation of the Ascend data sources, they will be integrated and made available through the Financial Integration Hub, referred to as FIH, hosted on the cloud. In addition to the Oracle reporting capabilities, we will continue to leverage Cognos and include Tableau as part of our reporting suite. A key distinction between the reporting tools to keep in mind is that Oracle tools will source only Oracle financial data. Tableau and Cognos will allow us to integrate different data sets through our data hub and provide comprehensive analytics and reporting options. And when we focus on data integration needs for various systems and our tier two users, we will be leveraging secure data services like APIs for data consumption. And I understand that this is high level at the moment, but wanted to provide a general overview of our data and reporting strategy as we understand the landscape is complex and the requirements will certainly impact the solutions we support and offer our users. Finally, I know a lot of information was shared, but a key question that may still linger is if QDB is going away. FIH, the Financial Integration Hub, will replace FSQDB. As we discussed earlier, QDB stores financial data and provides access to downstream systems and reporting. FIH is a data platform which will store financial data and provide access for data integration, downstream systems, and reporting. QDB is updated nightly and available daily between 6 a.m. and midnight. FIH has enhanced availability and more timely data can be made available based on the requirements. QDB allows for direct access to the database, while FIH will allow access through secure data services for consumption. In QDB, use of financial data is not actively monitored, while data governance for FIH will be facilitated by modern tools to ensure adherence to data policies. The data in FIH will be stored in a secure and centralized repository to minimize data duplication and data will be encrypted. While QDB has created our current data landscape, a further formation of data silos and duplication of data across uh, units posing data security concerns. Hosting data in the cloud with the UCLA Data Lakehouse architecture provides for agile data ingestion processes and easier extensibility to integrate with other data sources, while QDB is based on a rigid pre-built data model. The overall infrastructure of QDB limits scalability, incurs ongoing maintenance costs, and lacks a comprehensive disaster recovery plan. Leveraging the UCLA Data Lakehouse offers robust disaster recovery, improves operational efficiencies, and lowers maintenance costs. An important note to make at this time is users will not lose access to the data stored in QDB. It will continue to be made available along with the Cognos reports through the UCLA Data Lakehouse as we plan to migrate and store historical financial data as part of our post school live activities. We are excited to partner with you as part of the Ascend 2.0 program to ensure we provide secure, accurate, and timely financial data to meet your needs and continue with our commitment to expand data-driven decision-making across UCLA. Thank you for your time.